And here we are with Jeremy Clements and John Lynch and I'm Joe Hodges. We're going to have a few songs then share a little meditation with you this morning and hope that you enjoy it and it speaks to you. Jeremy, let's go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name.
Thank you for our gathering. We hope that we're worshiping here on a back porch, but it doesn't matter where we worship as long as we worship you, whether it's just the three of us or it's a whole church gathered from wherever we are. So be with us as we continue in song. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, John, it's your turn to do your thing, buddy. All right, let me get the cheat sheets out Actually, we're going to talk about Jonah. How funny is that? <laughs> I can see where you're going. I know. Yeah. Well, they're both boat stories. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. And you don't need an evergreen boater for either one of them. Anyway, this one's kind of a wild story. 
Oh, it's a story about not listening to God. And, and then it's a story about, I don't want to go there, and you can't make me. And God said, we'll see about that. It's a story about getting thrown overboard. It's about a story about a guy who didn't want to go to pe preach to a bunch of people because he was really upset with them. And then he got mad because God was merciful. But it's the second chapter of that whole book of Jonah where there's a great big long prayer. And it's a heartfelt, gut-riching prayer full of whys and whys. It's full of lots of questions, and then it's full of lots of reflection. And it just kind of made me think on our own prayers, there's lots of whys in our own prayers, and then there's lots of reflection in our own prayers at the same time. Because it's when we find ourselves in the middle of chaos, confusion, and kind of the catastrophic that we find ourselves in prayer the most. And in this particular story, the second chapter of Jonah, here's what we find. He's in the belly of a whale. And life has a way of putting us in the belly of a whale sometimes. Not fun. In fact, these times really aren't fun. They're really different. But sometimes we just find ourselves in the middle of a belly of a whale because life has a way of throwing the unexpected our way. I don't think he thought he was going to end up in the belly of a whale, neither do we. But it took him to a place that he didn't want to go, and a lot of times it's when we're in the belly of the fish that we find ourselves headed somewhere where we may not have wanted to go. But that's just kind of the way it is anyway. Being in the belly of the fish, it wasn't fun, and it's not fun for any of us sometimes. But sometimes being in that place where we never thought we'd be is when we do some of our best praying. It leads to a question, why is it that we have to find ourselves in the catastrophic or in the chaotic to have some of our best praying time? But it's just what happens. So I just wanted to remind us that, you know, Jonah's not by himself. Because life has a way of throwing us overboard, taking us somewhere that we really don't want to go, and sometimes it's in the belly of a fish that we find ourselves on our knees the most. What I do want to remind us of today, though, is what we preached about last time we were all gathered together as a congregation, and it's this. One more time, God's got this. God had it for Jonah. God's got it for you. God's got it for us. God's in charge of it no matter what. I just like to say, don't wait for life to put you in the belly of a fish or put you in the unexpected places of life before you go to God in prayer. Wise or good, I don't understand. Always something that will be a part of our prayer life. But to always worship God even if you find yourself in the middle of a situation where you're not expecting it or on a path that's really unknown, just remember God's got it and remember to always pray. There's a familiar song that Park Hill Christian Church has done for a long time at the end of its crossroads service. And I hope that even as we've done this little thing of preaching on the back porch, might be new, but this song won't be new to any of you. Jeremy, it's all yours.